What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about 10 physical features that women cannot resist. They cannot. If they see you have those, you're like, oh, must it, must it. yes. So if you guys have those, you know, good for you. If you don't, you can fix them. Some of them you can fix, some of them you can't, but uh, I'll let you know what we can do. All right. So before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash moneymonaco. So if you guys want to go over there, check me out. It's a little more personal, a little more about me and a little more about uh, some sexiness. Yes. All right. So now let's go. Number one, your teeth. Yes, your teeth. Because what? Because smiling is very appealing. So I'm sorry if your teeth are not all the way there. Well, you can either fix it or you don't. It's up to you. But I would say at least make sure they're white. They can be a little crooked because you know sometimes a little crooked add a little character. But they need to be white. I was talking to this dude and uh, they were straight. But he had like plaque, like right here. It was plaque. I could see it. It was like build up and shit. And I was like, yo, in my head. I was like, when was the last time you went to the dentist? Because that's a cleaning. So for me, that's a, that's a no, no, I don't know. I go to the dentist every three months because I eat so much candy. I need to, I have to, if I don't want my teeth to be falling off. But guys, at least try to have it white. A white smile is really appealing. You can do, you know, the little trays where you just put it on and it's pretty cheap. I mean, cheap not too crazy expensive it's like maybe 45 dollars or something like that at cvs or target whatever so you might want to invest in that if you have the plaque i am sorry sir you have to go to the fucking dentist yes i'm not here to 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 talk crazy to you but if you have plaque this is not normal and it can cause bad breath and it can fuck up your teeth too so maybe you want to fix it as far as fixing your teeth if they're like super out of order you know, nowadays they do the Invisalign and they do the braces. Maybe if you have some extra money, you can invest in yourself and invest in like a bright eye smile. I know some people go and do the veneers. I don't know. Sometimes they be looking big as fuck. It's fake. I don't know. I feel the best for you is to fix them and keep your teeth. Also, as far as the plaque, if I see a guy with plaque, I'm going to wonder like, what is your level of hygiene? Because that's something you see, I don't know. And if you don't see it, so you don't look at yourself, it's gonna translate to you're not taking care of yourself. So guys, make sure, that's a big one. Women love to look at your teeth. Which goes with number two. We love some nice lips. Yes, we wanna fucking kiss. Women love kissing. I think guys too. But women, we love kissing. So you make sure, you make sure like, you drink your water, you stay hydrated, that you put some chapstick here and there, you know, as needed um you can even buy like some conditioner i know it sounds maybe like you're going overboard but if you're like me and you have this uh problem of dry lips i put some lip conditioner at night before i go to bed because i'm not talking as much when i'm sleeping you know and it stays on i wake up it's still on so guys do that it doesn't take much it's very cheap it's like seven dollars and the women the women when they look at you when they're like interested in like, oh mm. Mm, I, I could see him kissing on my body. I could see him grabbing me and my neck and all that shit. Yes, it starts with fucking kissing. And I know some of you say, oh, I don't kiss. Well, you're missing out. That's all I'm going to say. Number three, a strong jaw structure. I don't know if I have it like, like here maybe or here. I don't know. But if you guys don't have like that, you know, kind of squish, whatever that women are really attracted to, you can cheat. Get a fucking beard. Hopefully you can grow a beard. If you cannot, do not go try some more. No, you tried, it's not connecting. You leave it alone. I don't wanna see no fucking tattoo or no fucking Beijing in your beard. Give it up. This is not for you. You're gonna have to develop some other shit because the beard is not for you. If you're trying to develop the jaw structure, maybe uh, eat more gum, chew some gum. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that works. On a serious note, how you can develop this is by losing body fat because you know it's gonna like lose some weight on your face, so you're gonna look a little more defined. And make sure you stay hydrated. It's gonna help releasing all the toxins and stuff, and then it's gonna define a little more. So for this, you, are, you have a couple options. And guys, for, for, the, for the beard men, if you, if you have a beard, fucking groom it. I don't want a fucking bush. I don't want shit like coming, like 
the worst is like when it's here and it's crazy yes like make sure i mean i like a little five o'clock shadow not saying that's what you gotta do but if you decide to have a beard make sure it's moisturized because when i want to sit on it daddy i want to make sure it's not hurting my pussy thank you number four your eyes your eyes guys you know why i always say the eye contact first of all it shows that you're engaged and interested and all that shit but the eyes you know they say what you guys say is the window of the soul we want to look at your eyes and eyes are so mesmerizing when a dude talk to me i mean i'm all in i'm in the eyes but if you have some nice eyes eyes nice eyes eyes that's a hard one it's good so to to make sure your eyes are at the best uh, sorry smokers but uh, when you smoke some weed so you know your eyes be getting uh, a little red so fucking fix it Put some little eye drop, make sure like, I don't want to look at you and your eyes are like so fucking sleepy. I cannot see your pretty eyes, you know, I want to fucking see them. Also guys, eyebrows, eyebrows are something that help define your face. Don't, if you, if you have a unibrow, make sure you get two brows, you know, it's, it's supposed to be two. So get two, take that shit off here. You don't have to go so much, but if it's bushy, bushy. Help yourself, trim a little bit, do something. Yes, it's gonna help. Like women like deep, deep eyes, uh, intentional eyes, I am telling you. Also, if you're tired, like me, I'm gonna talk shit when I have them. If you're tired, the bags, the bags, no. Get a nice, uh, get some rest, sleep, do what you need to do to make sure them bags are going away. You know, they have them thing that you put under and it's, you know, and you wait and then it goes off and then it goes away. Oh, the cucumber, cucumber really work. But I'm telling you, eyes is really important. Number five, you guys might think it's uh, feminine and I don't care, but your toes and your nails. Let's talk about the nails first. Well, I do not want you to touch me if your nails are gross. This is that easy. So I don't think it's a hard concept, but yes, if your nails are disgusting, how do you think I'm going to want them in my pussy? No, I, I don't. Also, if they're not trim, if they're too long, I may think like, yo, you're going to damage me down there. Like, no, I'm not doing that. You know, make sure. I'm not saying you got to go get a manicure, but you can. And it's not girly. It has nothing to be with being a girl. It has everything to do with taking care of yourself. So if you lazy or if you don't feel like doing it or if you don't know how to do it nicely, go get a fucking manicure. It's like what? $15, $20, go for it. All right, so let's touch on the toes. I know a lot of you are, you know, uh, athletes or you, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Some of you don't even have that excuse because you're not an athlete. And, uh, but your feet, your feet, uh, if I'm in the bed and your feet are hurting me like a fucking dinosaur in the bed, uh, I'm like, excuse me, why do I wake up with my legs bleeding? no sir no don't touch me don't touch my fucking feet don't touch my legs guys make sure you you clip them yes clip your fucking toenail also i hope they're not like you know feeling like sandpapers it's, it's just for you i know i'm talking a hell of shit today but yes it feels nice to see a man that takes care of himself and again it's nothing feminine it's just like yo i need to take care of myself number six broad shoulders we go crazy for that all v thing not just like the one in the summit the the one like at the top you you you're broad i look broad as fuck right now you're broad and then it goes like and it goes down so if you guys don't have broad shoulders what you can do is work out obviously you can go work out and you work on them shoulders what you can also do is work your stomach area because you know you can lose some fat if you're a little chubby if you have a little uh beer belly Try to trim that shit or your love handles. Yeah, love handles, if you can get rid of them, it's gonna help you get that uh, V-shape. Another little tip that you can use is wear V-necks because V-necks are gonna drive the eye down and give us the illusion of more of a V-shape because you see it here and you're like, oh yeah, you know, it's illusion, but work on, work on working out in the gym, yeah. Number seven, your butt. Yes, you guys think you're the only one who have the monopoly of loving booty we love booty too baby can i grab it yes i i don't know i i'll be doing that i'm on the street and i might uh, touch your booty a little i know they don't like it but hey we love a nice butt too so guys make sure you squat because i see a lot of men 
they have the top and the bottom is a little skinny i'm like so so you don't do legs huh like they no not for you no squat no lunges no no not for you got you yes all right guys so maybe you want to work on that number eight another thing that women really like on the men's body is is forearms forearms yes yes and you add a little veins on them you already know how i feel about some fucking veins but yes work out work your uh, i don't know <laughs> but yes you know you can develop them by obviously working out also when you wear shirts or whatever long sleeve make sure you pull it up a little bit so then we can see but yes women go crazy for forearms because it's just so like if it's strong and like mm, it makes me feel like mm, he's gonna handle me that's really how we feel number nine okay i'm not gonna lie because i was trying to not talk about this one but yes height yes we go crazy for height you see it on the pineapple show them them girl talking about i'm five three but i want a man that's six one yes having a tall man is uh something that we like uh it's just i don't know in a room we see you right away because you're fucking tall so yes i know you didn't decide to be tall or short but you can help yourself you know you can wear timberlands you can wear boots you can wear uh sneakers with a little more of like foam or whatever you know you can help yourself also with your clothes you can wear monochromatic colors that are gonna help you so like a dark gray black dark blue dark green you know shit like that is gonna help you look taller also make sure it's not baggy because if you're short already and it's baggy you look even shorter so make sure it's fitted and number 10 the last thing your hair we do look at your hair i know you guys have this complex too with like the the balding and all that shit i am telling you it is sexy we find a man sexy when he doesn't have hair at all so guys if you don't have hair stop worrying about it i know a lot of you are not ready to let it go fucking let it go because if you're balding and you're like trying to hold on to it we know you're kind of like feeling a, a little insecure about it and we're gonna see it it's not like don't think because you're taller than us we're not seeing it we're gonna sit down we're gonna be in bed we're gonna be somewhere you know we're gonna fucking see it so if that's an insecurity of yours i am telling you it is okay to go bald bald is sexy like think about mr clean mr clean is hella sexy i'm just saying but yes don't be afraid and if you do have hair please make sure you take care of it i don't want no i don't know hair that's looking like uh, i just woke up oh are we going somewhere oh okay no make sure you know the you know a, a nice lineup a nice whatever you need to do and you know guys it makes you feel a hundred times better you know how you guys feel when you come out of the barbershop you like i'm the man again you know you know how you feel we feel the exact same way when we see you with a fresh haircut we're like daddy yes yes all right so that's all i have those were 10 physical features that we love on men and that we're looking for and that we cannot resist because guys we love them shit we love them shit so that's it hopefully you like share comment you can also subscribe to my patreon at www.patreon.com slash many monaco and you can also follow me on instagram at many love xo and at many monaco too thank you so much i'll send you a ton of kisses